guys, it's Mimi. I wanted to thank you guys so much for 60,000 subscribers. I've been on my way to this milestone for so long. Now that I've returned, it's just really cool to see growth. I'm really excited for this channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for subscribing. I also wanted to share with you guys the fact that I started another YouTube channel. It's called Destiny Grace, and I am going to be posting videos on there as much as I do here. It doesn't have to do with LPS, but I think you will like it. So check it out and subscribe if you like. Today's video is another recreation and I'm going to be recreating Mulan in LPS form. Actually Mulan was second place for my most recent poll. There have been some people that are very passionate about seeing Mulan. Let's get into it. So the first one we have is obviously Mulan. I think the perfect LPS for her would be this Kali. I think they look pretty similar and also this LPS looks like that she could pretend to be a boy if she needed to be. Her outfit is this green, blue, and yellow dress. I have these two things and I'll make them into her dress. Then I'm going to add this red tool for her red stripe. Then I'm going to put this jewel on the front. I think the essence of her outfit is captured really well. Next we have her horse that she rides and I don't have a black horse but I do have this black and white one. The horse has red reins so I'm going to put this on the back of it. Next is Mulan's dad and I think this LPS looks like him. He wears this blue robe with a red stripe. Off camera I fashioned this scarf and some tool to look just like his robe. Next is Mulan's mom and the only one that I have that looks kind of like her is this poodle. Mulan's mom is wearing this magenta dress. I put this skirt on her and some tulle with a little black gem and I think it really matches her outfit. Then we have the grandma. This LPS looks a lot like her to me. I like how her paw is up just like she's carrying the lantern. Her outfit is very similar to the others. It's a blue robe. I put a skirt around her. Then I took some fuzzy paper and a jewel to make her little headband. And I also have this lantern which looks like the cage the cricket's in. Speaking of the cricket, I decided to use the traditional LPS cricket. I don't have a purple one, so this one will have to do. Then we also have Mushu. I don't have an LPS dragon, but if I were to recreate this series, I would get it. So the next best thing would probably be this LPS. Next is the matchmaker, and this LPS looks like she would be her. So put an LPS skirt on her, and also some gold gems and a flower up here to match her flowers. I think it matches pretty well. Then we have Shang, and I highly debated it, but I decided that he'll be this Great Dane. This is what he wears. It's a type of robe and he also has a red cape. I did my best with this but I gave him this red cape and also this blue shirt and I'm giving him this sword because my better one is going to Mulan. Next is Yao, Ling, and Qian Po. For Qian Po, I'm choosing this LPS. For Yao, this LPS and Ling, this LPS. I gave them each collars to match the colors that they wear. Red, green, and blue. Then we have the Emperor and that will be this LPS. Here's his outfit. It is a big robe that is gold and red. I recreated it with a lot of tool. I also made a hat with the same tool, a gem, and more of that fuzzy paper. And just for fun, I'm gonna give him this beard that I have. <laughs> now tell me that doesn't look similar to you. Then we have Chifu, the emperor's assistant. This LPS makes me think of him just because he looks like he's mad all the time. <laughs> what he's wearing looks like this. It's just a blue robe and a hat. I gave him this a blue shirt with a black gem. This hat isn't perfect, but it does the job. I'm also gonna give him this clipboard, and it's the same shape as his, as well as a pen. We also have this guy which is the leader of the Huns and this LPS looks like him. I'm giving him these two guys to accompany him. I found this scarf that looks exactly like the one he wears. I gave him a black scarf as well and his guys I gave them collars. I'm giving him an axe as a weapon. I'm gonna give Mulan this sword to represent her sword and this comb which is the one that she has. I don't think it's realistic for an LPS to ride a horse so theoretically she would use something like this for her travels. Let's go through the characters. We have Chifu, the Emperor, Ling, Yao, and Qian Po. We have the matchmaker, Mulan's grandmother, Mulan's mother, Mulan's father, Mulan, her horse, Mushu, Cricket, Shang, the main Hun guy, I forgot his name, and two of his men. So this is all of the Mulan characters in LPS form. Let me know if you think I did a good job and what should I do next? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed me recreating Mulan in LPS form. And please check out my new YouTube channel. There should be a video up right now. And thank you so much for watching. See ya!